Hey guys, what's up? It's Slender Founder 252 out here. We're gonna go fishing this afternoon. I gotta go catch some bait though. Peter's coming down, so it's gonna take him a little bit to get down here, but when he does, we're about to go to the bridge and go cobia fishing. So let's see if we can get some live bait on the pier. I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay guys, it's a little bit windy out here, so I apologize for the wind effect, but I think I can use my hand signals to kind of show you what I'm doing here. So, right here, I am where it's where I'm putting all my live bait after I catch it I'm putting it in there so we'll keep it alive and I'm using this rod right here and there's a crab pot down there and it attracts fish to the crab pot so I'm dropping this rod down and um, I'm putting it right in front of it and I'll show you what rig I'm using evidently I had a fish on when I was in the water Did I get a little bit of this off each little hook just put a little bit of meat on each hook and that will get them to hit it a lot faster and a lot more and so I'm gonna hit I'm gonna put it all on all these little hooks there's a whole bunch of them for catching a whole bunch of little bait fish yeah I got about eight or so Look at this. <laughs> okay guys, and just like that, now we have a full little basket right here. I don't know if you can see him. But that's what we're gonna be using. Um we'll see all them. Okay guys, so we finally back out here. We got all the rods out. Um, it's about 11 o'clock at night. A little comms um, session in the wind. Uh, we got uh, four Kobe rods. We've already been broken off like five times. We don't know what's doing it, but we just got a big old hit. I think it's a Kobe. I brought up to the surface. But um, if we get anything else, we'll try to get the Kobe on while we're finding it. So that's oh. a strat. Here's the Garmin. We're right here at about 22 here, here. feet. Here, check this. There's a whole. Look, look, look at all that. We got a fleet of fish just lining up. If you see right there down on the bottom, there's plenty of fish down there. Uh, we're thinking right cobia, there. possibly baby shark. There's a hole like right in there. We're right here on the Atlantic Beach Bridge, North, Moorhead City, North Carolina. And uh, we'll check back in when we get another bite. It's, uh, it's pretty hot tonight, so hopefully we'll uh, come out with the fish. Got it. No way! No fun! Uh, Holy crap, that's a massive one. You got that on video, baby? Yeah. I yes, gotta say, sir. so I'm gonna try to catch another 1,000. That's on a, that's literally on a pinfish that yeah. big. Yeah, hold on. Yo, we just got Holy this. crap. Absolutely mondo blue pinfish. That thing's massive, that bro. Big, giant bait. Okay, we're, we're in the thick right of them the now. Boat. We're in the we're, thick we're of them. now. Hey, 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 hey. You, 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 let's keep that guy. I said that's a big one. Keeper? Yeah, keeper. All right. Hey, hey, fill, fill me. I'm going to throw this out there real quick. All right, y'all watch Dude, this. I'm about to get smoked on the Watch table. this. Ready? What's that, a 2,000? <laughs> All right, don't catch a fish like that. Throw it up, stringy. Throw it up, up the current. There's a big hole right here. Gonna float it into the hole. You gotta catch a mondo. I'm working on unhooking this guy. There we go. Got him unhooked. We're gonna throw that puppy on ice. Yup, hooked up. Hooked up. Where is he? Look at that, y'all. We are in the thick of it. Come on. Get him off out of the bridge.
it's coming, it's coming. Here he comes. On a, dang, that's a tiny rod. Here he comes, right here. Goodness, bro. bro. Goodness, bro. Dude, that's a f longer than my foot, bro. <laughs> Holy crap, bro. Yeah, I, we're, we're just going to keep two and then we'll um, throw them in the cooler for like bait or something. But I, I think that's all we're going to keep for right now. But they're, they're a heck of a fight with this little 2000, bro. All right, hey, get Guys, it's about 1 a.m. Made it back to the dock. Um, we were, uh, for, just for reference, we were way out there in the middle fishing. Uh, we came home with two bluefish and uh, caught many more. And uh, right now, we got a uh, mullet on Carolina rig on the green light. And uh, we have video evidence of flounder down there from the GoPro. And, Insert the uh, clip now, please. And we just got a nice hit. Um, completely descaled the mud minnow. So we'll check back in if we get a bite. All right, he's thudding. It's game time. There he is, there he is, there he is, baby. Heck yeah. Oh my lord. At really nice, like 12, 13 inch right there. <laughs> yeah, it was like a solid 12. Called and everything. I awesome call fish, it. I baby. Call it, bro. I call yes, it. sir. Yeah, I hit. I went, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, that's it. And then, I, and then I felt my rod. I felt like the weight pick up off the round, and then another weight, and I was like, oh crap, stop by right now. Yes, sir. Check him out, check him out, check him out. Right in the corner of the mouth, even though I waited. All right, we're gonna get some picks and then we'll hit y'all with the release. Flounder are not in season, so we gotta make yeah, sure yeah. We, we release this fish properly. Even though this might've been a keeper-ish. It, it's borderline, probably borderline. a little small. We're gonna lower him in the net, make sure he gets all the water he needs. He's revived. Give him all the, give him, give him a little bit of room. So. Gone. Gone. Awesome like job, baby. Boom. That is how it's done. <laughs> Start to finish. All right. Uh, this might be the end. We might try to hop on another one. Maybe. We'll see. Um, we'll take back in with y'all one last time. Hopefully, Hopefully. with another that's, Mondo. That's the plan, at least. That's the plan. I'm telling you. That fly y'all just saw earlier, that was it right there. I'm telling you. You want one of this? Oh, done. Four. Right there. Right there. All right. Now it's time to catch this mama. Flounder hits this, this year, comes out, boom, hits it, okay? This is your weight right here. You have all this slack. When you pick it up, you can literally feel your weight coming off the ground like this, and then you feel the next weight of the flounder, and the flounder will pick up his head like that. And so then the, now you know, man, that's a flounder. So you drop your weight back down, let it sit there, let him, because he's kind of like a hat that has the mouth, kind of eat a little bit more, you know, get ready, prepare yourself for what's about to happen, set that hook, and then yank him up as hard as you can. And I'll set the hook in his um, jaw, as I just showed y'all. If but, you have any doubt. Don't, don't let him eat for like two minutes, but let him eat for like 10 seconds. Hey, if you have any doubts about the facts he's speaking, go watch the last two minutes again. Exactly. Replay that over and over again. Get your mind. What just happened? <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, guys? We out here again. Um, we're going to try to go for some drum in this place that we know of down here. A little bit windy so we're gonna sneak out of there we got some storms coming up but we're gonna be near land so we're not gonna really worry about that we're just gonna deal with it as it comes um we're rigging up the rods right now we're gonna try to um do some popping corks and some bottom rigs with some live mullet if we can see some live mullet earlier and then try to cast at them but we'll see how it goes see y'all there
you already know, hooked up. Should be a nice drum. Flounder, flounder, flounder. flounder. Nice flounder. Get it up, get it up. Woo! Yes, sir. That's a that's a really nice one. That's a long fish, relatively uh, narrow, but uh, really long fish. Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna measure him. 17 inches. 17, that would be a keeper. Okay. Get a release. Wait, beautiful fish. Gone. Gone. All right, let's get back on him. That was right over there. The water is so warm in here. I know, right off the edge of that oyster bed. Uh, hopefully, we'll get back on him. Eli, got anything to say? Obviously, on a popping cork, bro. Popping cork with a little Z man. What we're using? Popping cork. Obviously. Hey, right now, while we're waiting on this massive drum to hit, take a second, pause the video, scroll down, like, and comment what type of fishing you think we should do next. Or if you have like. Also, if uh, y'all have any ideas for like, for what we can do, then just uh, drop them in the comments. And we are hooked up on a very nice sized drum, as you can see over there. He's running right there. What y'all think about that? Good job. You don't even have any, you have an anchor line because it's powerful, bro. <laughs> oh, is that a no, it's a no, it's a ray. It's a ray. No, it was jumping. It's not a ray. It's a ray. It's not a ray. No, it's not. It's a drum. No? That thing brought that line completely slack and picked it up and boom, that thing was gone. Y'all saw earlier, it was literally top water. He's trying to stay down right now. So what Eli's trying to do is trying to pull it off the top, off the bottom, I mean. Cause once you get off the bottom, we'll come to the surface. But if he sticks to the bottom, it's hard to pry him off. Boom, there he goes. This could be up to a two hour fight. <laughs> it could, it could easily. It could easily be up to a two hour fight. We it's just had it close. We just had it real right, close right, to the right, boat, right. but right when no. he. All right. All right, 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 right. He's right there. Oh, boom, he's good. gone again. Comes up at the boat and boom, he's gone. All right, I'm going to set y'all down. We're gonna land this fish, can work Eli. Wait, See, wait, look, wait. he's he's gluing himself to the bottom. He's like, he's... Look at that. There, there he is. Look at this cloud he's creating. Uh, come here. Come here. As you can tell by that rod bend, he does not want to come up. It's only about two feet, but he's still he has some budget. You can see his power. It's just so shallow right here. It's so cool to see this. All right. Yeah, no, 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 bring her up here a little bit more so we don't mess up everything else. That's a big old guy. You now I want to be way faster when you catch that guy. Just cut the line. Oh, that one me. God, I didn't catch that one though. On a 2000. That's for sure. Yeah. 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 That is like literally. Okay. <laughs>
now we have the vehicle stuck. Okay, okay, so you just get the hook out finally. Check it. Here is a big old fat one. But now we gotta figure out how to get it. Um, so as you can see, he's got the main back still, and then there's that tiny yeah, bar got it, got it, got right it there. What? Back up, back up, back up. Back up. So, you, that is what you do not want inside of you. Nope, not at all. Hospital. Revive him. There you go. Look at that. He's swimming. He's just going back to the bottom right there. He's going right back to the bottom. He'll ease off. Yeah. Good work, Eli. Uh, he kind of ain't ready All right, so uh, we're probably going to pack out of here. Yeah. And, um... Yeah. Speaking of drum, a massive one just hit top water over there. 